welcome to the Galaxy Man Show interview show. So for my very last guest of this week is this incredible actor uh, who's in Shattered Past, a Power Rangers uh, incredible series, uh, and he appears as the Inferno Ranger uh, for Shattered Past Episode 5. Kehende Martin, uh, known as Atto Worldwide uh on instagram so everyone definitely go give him the follow uh and support welcoming kehende on to the show now and talking about his role as uh the incredible inferno inferno ranger for shattered past episode five only on nerdbot studios uh so yeah here we go hello yo How's it going, Kehende? I am well, my brother. How you doing, man? Really good, thanks. I just want to say first up, thank you so much, Kehende, for taking the time to join my show. Absolutely. It's such, it's such an incredible pleasure having you on today. Uh, yeah. To people that don't know who you are, you can give like a little backstory about yourself, and then we'll dive right into the questions. Well, yeah. Um, my name is Kehende Martin. Um, you may have Oh, you may not know me as ATO Worldwide. You, you, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man. You may or may not know me as ATO Worldwide. Um, make music is basically where I kind of started. I basically started, then I jumped into this acting thing, and then um, it kind of became, it actually became a reality, so I'm, I have two jobs now. <laughs> Awesome. So we'll dive right into the questions now, Kehende. So for my very first question, as you mentioned, uh, you're an actor, you're a musician, incredible stuff. Uh, you actually played the incredible role of the Inferno Ranger for an incredible Power Rangers like universe franchise for, known as Shattered Past. Yes. And yeah, what, what's it like, like being the Inferno Ranger and appearing in episode five? Well, first off, man, it's a dream come true, man. Um, I've always, since I, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have all wanted to do this and become suit up, ranger up, if you will. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's 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 so much. Um, what I'm looking for, man, it's it's just sur it's surreal every single time. It's different. See, the thing is, we have the suits and the helmets, you know, sitting around in the studio and stuff. But then when you put it on and you know you have a job to do in the role, it turns and it becomes something different. And it's a really it's like it's like an empowering, empowering feeling, you know. Um, but I mean, to sum it up, it's a dream. It's like really a dream, man. It's a lot of fun. So on to my very next question. So on to the costume design of the Inferno Ranger. What was it like creating the design and the co whole costume of the Inferno Ranger for Shadow Pass? Well, shout out to my brother, man, Colin K. Bass. Yes. Um, he and I, we talked about this and we kind of brainstormed um, what ranger would you want to be and stuff like that. But then I was like, I don't know. But, but then I was, I said, if I'm going to jump into this, I want to kind of create my own version, like my own uh, version of a ranger. So it could be my own. Um but then he kind of threw some ideas at me. And actually, um, it's inspired by um, the Sentai, uh, Hurricane Ranger, Hurricane Ranger Dark, the 10, after, the 10 years after film, where he had the black gi and he had, he had the, the black Wind Ranger or uh, Hurricane Ranger Black, or Hurricane Ranger, a red Hurricane Ranger, but it was a black helmet. But I didn't like the gi, so I was like, I'll just kind of make a different version of ninja storm or hurricane Ranger, and we came up with the fire element or you know the infernal um symbol and everything um yeah man um the design was actually pretty cool we would colin and i we would send um ideas back and forth to each other via text and he sent this flame and i'm like oh let me go ahead and upgrade that flame and then i turned it into you know made it to what it looks like right now um a good friend of mine, uh, he's also uh, one of the artists that I work with. Uh, his name is uh, Chris Dav. 
an amazing uh, illustrator. He basically made, he brought it to reality, basically. So, yeah. That's so cool. So, so very next question. So what was it like shooting your first appearance as the Inferno Ranger for Shadow Pass episode five? Like the very first scene with the cadets and Azaya. Such an incredible <laughs> fucking scene. That was, <laughs> that was amazing. I have to say, what was it like to just like shoot that scene? So, so, the could er, the students, the win the, the the Wind Ranger students, um, Jackson Brooks' students, it was different and it was cool because you know you had some child actors, child actors, and it was a different tone. Um, it was a cool. It was actually really great. It was a hot day that day, and it was a fun day, and suiting up with Isaiah was actually a lot of fun. Um. I never thought I would actually get to do that. And one of the one of the coolest things was uh I shared a scene with Jackson Brooks, which was that's like an inside joke because yeah. you know, I don't I it, it's it was it's either gonna be um Sam O'Neill or somebody else, right? But the Jackson Brooks thing was actually really cool to see the two Hurricane Jr. helmets on screen together, which was awesome, you know. Um, but it was fun, you know, filming with them and the kids were really good. Um, it wasn't for, for it to be like my very first official scene and the physical scene. It was, it was, I thought it was going to be a challenge, but I actually, it, it kind of, as I, as I went on throughout the day, it got a lot easy and it was, it was, I was very comfortable because I was uncomfortable. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I was uncomfortable the first time, but I got really comfortable, man. And, you know, I get a lot of, um, coaching from you know mark you know our psycho green who's a phenomenal choreographer choreographer and he's like a great teacher he's a great person a good friend of ours you know um colin was was amazing he brought the umbrella out did the whole mary poppins thing for us you know kept, kept the sign on my face you know um but we have an amazing team we all help each other out um yeah so yeah so on to very next question. So what was it like shooting the scenes with uh, DJ Rivers and Azaya together, double teaming the Inferno Ranger? One more time, I'm sorry? What was it like um, with DJ Rivers and Azaya double teaming up with, uh, Ooh, to take down the Inferno was, Ranger? You know, that was the cool scene. Yeah, that was actually super dope. Like, it was... Yeah. That, I don't think... I don't think... Yeah, that was cool. It was yeah. fun, man, and it was it was funny because I have, I have a lot of jokes. Are you guys? Got, I have to get jumped. Oh my gosh, I'm getting jumped by you guys. But it was so cool. And every time I watch that scene, I get I'm so mesmerized by the scene because, first of all, DJ is like one of the one of the greatest, one of the dopest actors I've ever, you know, worked with, watched. You know, I'm learning a lot of things from him. But his mannerisms in the suit, that's the that's the the main thing. Like you're mannerisms in that suit because you have to go back and do adr anyway so he his 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 mannerisms were on point and as i i study i study his mannerisms in the suit and i also study colin's acting you know um in his civilian mode and his his mannerisms and his head gestures and the hand movements all that stuff now i, I pick up a lot of stuff from all of my guys man you know uh, every everybody that's involved with 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 us that are seasoned actors that have way more experience than I than I do. Um, I I, uh, I I take a lot of I take pieces from each person, which is great. Awesome. So on to very next question. So what makes the Inferno Ranger such a relate like such a relatable character for the Power Rangers like extended universe? Like why why should people relate to the Inferno Ranger? Well, everybody in, in in the extended universe, everybody, everyone, everyone that's involved within in the extended universe, they're all good guys. <laughs> um, nah, I just think that it's that classic. As we, you know, as we get deeper and we get to learn more about Inferno, what his true origin is, and you know, is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? Is he confused? Is he torn? Is he in between? We we honestly right now. You know, we don't know. I mean, and the relatable part is, is that he's a newcomer. It's like it's kind of one of those unheard of things. Like he he's a he's a, a, a an an unheard of, unmarked, un um a character who really doesn't really exist just yet in the mix with characters that we already know. 
So it's like you're a new kid on the, I mean, it's cliche, the new kid on the block, you have to prove yourself and do you, do you deserve to be here? Why are you here? Like, is it a one and done thing? Like, are you going to get more screen time? Are you going to get more of a story? Are you going to get an arc? Are you going to, you know, there's that, that, that's how I look at it. And I think it's fun. I think that's the challenge. And I, and, and, you know, I think my, I, 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 I just want to thank my guys for just, you know, giving me that push and, and allowing me to be a part of the, you know, the, the universe, man. So, but we do have plenty, we do have plenty of bad guys. I was just being funny, man. Like we have a lot of bad guys, you know, like, you know. I have I to say, you're the, I have to say the, the Inferno Range is like the ultimate bad guy in my books. Like, you think so? Your, yeah, your performance as the Inferno Ranger, as, as soon as you appeared on screen, I was like, damn, you're good. Like, you're really good. Your performance is brilliant. Man, I really appreciate it. You know, I've, I've been practicing the voiceover, the voice work. I do, you know, I'm, I'm actually, um, you know, I'm working towards that right now. Um, and I think these, these, are the, these are great exercises, you know. Um, and, 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 and it's also a privilege to have friends that are already in the business. So you have to perform. You know, I can't just be afraid and be scared and be timid like i i'm going in now i'm like hey, i'm gonna throw you in with the shark so you better swim or sink you know what i mean so yeah and i, I, I actually, really appreciate that man thank no, you you're very welcome i actually would love to see an inferno ranger spin-off series if in the works if yeah, that's, that's you know that would what? Be cool. that's up to the that's up to the boss man you know yeah, i mean it's up to the boss but i mean for right now i'm grateful for where i'm at right now and you know what i'm able to contribute you know so yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome. So that's the very next question. So why do you think people that haven't seen Shattered Pass, like the franchise of Shattered Pass, why do you think people should watch, like, Shattered Pass? To get, like, a a different take on the Power Rangers, like, a, more of a personal... Um, we don't always have to put the suits on. We don't always have to seek I everything you know what i'm saying like it's it's it'll it'll you know to see to, to 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 be honest with you it's the writing it's related like you know uh relatable stuff in these stories and could it, is it realistic does it make sense that's the one thing i'm gonna tell you that i love about what colin does in his writing the guy's a he's a genius man like he makes things make sense you know not to take anything away from anybody else but a lot of folks would just throw a character in just for the sake of throwing the character in because they have a suit or they would create some, you know, off off the wall character that it just wouldn't make sense, you know, but everything and everyone makes a lot of sense, which is cool, you know, like the whole Draken thing, how the whole idea of why Draken is doing what he's doing, it makes sense. Or why would Sam O'Neill, he's a time traveler, he's basically Marty McFly with powers, right? going through time and then he's teaming up with different seasons time force or or he would go and um get in touch with you know an omega ranger like the pink omega ranger or you know what i mean like it's just it just it, it's cool it, it to me it makes so much sense you know a lot of sense i actually loved how sam met um russell's character from lost galaxy yes. that, that was a great moment for the Shadow Ooh, Pass episode. that what dude that was I feel like I was in 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 uh, middle school again. I'm like, what? You know what yes. I mean? Like, am I, what? Yeah. And that's so. That's so. And that's another thing. Like, he's pulling trick. He's pulling things out of his hat. And then you know, what range are we gonna get this week? You know what I mean? Like, that's unheard of, man. It's, he needs Very to. Be, good. He needs to be in the Guinness Book of World Records right now, man. Seriously. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sort of hearing next question for you. So who would be your like all time favorite like ranger from back in the past and why? My all time favorite ranger from in the does it does yeah. it is it like a um a past ranger or does it could it be anybody could it be a PRU ranger? Uh okay. it can be it can be any ranger you want. Okay, so from the past, um dude. Dude. Probably Walter, man. You know, um, probably Walter Jones. Um, but him, Walter Jones with the Dragon Shield. You yes. know what I mean? Um, yes. Yeah, Walter Jones with the, with the Dragon Shield. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Sounds like very next question. So who would be your, like, all-time favorite, like, Power Rangers villain of all time and why? 
Oh, villain? Um, okay, this is crazy. It's more of a sub boss than than an actual. It's the Thunder, the Thunder Brothers. Like, if either one, I don't care if it's the Navy or the Crimson. But when they were bad, like when they when they had to, when they did the when they did the low the low pitch on their voices and stuff. Oh, it was that was crazy. That was yeah. crazy because I remember when the ads came. You know, it's funny. To, uh, yesterday, because I knew I was coming on with you today, so. I went and watched. No, I know this morning. I apologize. This morning, I watched the promo for Power Rangers Ninja Storm uh, on the ABC or Fox Family, whatever. When they did the promos for it, and they would always promo the bad guys and everyone. And then now that I've listened to the um, to the ads, it say they have to unite the team, which makes sense to bring the five Rangers together. That was cool. I like that. You know what I mean? Yes. So on to our very next question. So all time favorite season of Power Rangers and why? One more time. What would be your like all time favorite Power Rangers season Ooh. and So I have two. Um Zeo. The reason why I love Zeo so much is because when we found out that they were getting new powers and new suits and then the whole Egyptian theme and the music, that's what got me. I like I just the music is what it captures me first. Like the music, the, the Power Rangers Zeo music was dope. Um, I love the Gold Ranger. Gold Ranger is probably my favorite Ranger of all time. Um, and Omega. I love Omega Ranger, but the Colin version, though. Yes. Um, um, and Ninja Storm. Uh, no, um, uh, Ninja Storm. The music, again, it goes back to the music. The music is what, what grasp me. I, uh, I, I enjoyed the music a lot in Ninja Storm. And then the whole Ninja theme and what they were doing and they was like they were friends it was like three kids and they all had like different activities you know the extreme uh the skateboarder the surfer you know the the, the motocross guy that was cool man that was cool so on to the very next question so if the inferno ranger could have his own team and be team leader of his own five ranger team members who would the inferno want on his team and why man i would just pick my guys man I would pick. I would just pick my guys. I would. I would rotate. Just my 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 my. I would just rotate all my PRU people. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I love that. So, on to very next question. So, yes. what made you decide, as a person and especially as an actor, to get into the whole acting scene in the first place? Um. Truthfully, I've always wanted to. Um. I never. I never, I, I've always, I, I'm from the East Coast, man. So I grew up in Miami, Florida, and upstate New York. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a product of the 90s, man. So, like, I didn't have those type of outlets back then growing up. So what I used to do, I would imitate and mimic the voices and the, the characters I would see on television. And I would, always, I would always read the credits, and I would always see the same names. And I would, would see what the jobs were. Um, you know, Haim Saban was always like producer. Shuki Levy was always uh, sound. Avi Rod was right. Like all they, they, you would always see those same names on all the TV programs that we watched. And it turns out that these guys would literally change the world when they drop Power Rangers. But I've always wanted to do voiceover work or be on screen. But it just so happened that. I got into music and it was a lot easier for me to kind of go into that direction because it was accessible at the time, you know, but now they're both accessible. So yeah, I'm grateful for that. So on to the very next question. So if you could have any dream role in like TV or film, like what dream role would you want and why? Ooh. So TV, I would love to do um, like a drama, man, like a, like a cop drama, a detective, um, I love a lot of this. I love sci-fi, supernatural stuff or sci-fi, um, you know, sci-fi, like a lot of the CW stuff, um, any of those type of shows, um, a lot of the HBO Max, um, programs. Film-wise, a lot of the sci-fi, you know, like I love the, the, you know, MCU, DC stuff. Um, but I like drama and, and, and like the, like those dramatic like those cop d detective like roles, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I would. Those, those would be those. Would, those I think those would be amazing to do. 
So, so very next question onto that. Like, what would be your like all time favorite TV or film, and why? Okay, so TV show wise, um, oh my gosh, oh, is it could it be animated or does it have to? Does it? It could so be animated, your choice. All time favorite animated show of all time is anything that Bruce Tim, like so Bruce Tim and Dwayne McDuffie from ninety one to like when Justice League ended, yes. basically that Batman Superman. Like that whole, that entire catalog, everything, film-wise, the first Bad Boys and Fifth Element. Yes. Easy. Yes. Yes. Love it. So I'm sorry, really next question. So what advice would you give someone wanting to get into the actor industry? And yeah, what advice would you give someone? I saw the easiest way, the most realistic and logical way, um would be to do fan films, man. Work with a, work with great people that create fan films and web series. Go to conventions and go to cons. Make friends. Like, you have to, like... And the one thing I had to learn of when I felt... Oh, excuse me. When I got involved, this business has an etiquette. There's a specific... It's, it's a privilege. It's not, it's not a right. No one deserves it unless you actually prove to you have you prove to yourself and to the powers that be that you deserve it it's an etiquette you have to have some sort it's like a type of etiquette that you have to have but always you know be humble work hard be a good person keep your head down you know those are the words of you know Colin always he preaches that those words to us all the time and that's what he does you know and that's and we're trying to follow suit um but yeah, get into the fan, get into the fan films, you know, because um, it's it's basically practice. And then as you get, you become more comfortable with the whole idea of being an actor or an actress. Go ahead and start seeking managers and agents and getting being a part of unions and stuff. And then you already have those chops and make sure that those 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 fan film roles that you were involved in, you get the credits. That way, when they go look for your IMDb they see that you've been working prior to you getting onto the big stage. So, yes. So, so on, so onto that. So like, what are like the positive and negatives into the whole acting industry and how to get through those like negative moments as an actor? Um, negatives are just self doubt, man. Stay away from it. Stay away from that. Stay away from that. Um, people will have, don't worry about people because people are going to always have something to say. And if they're not talking about you negative or good, you're not doing something at all. You're not doing something right. So the positives are um, doing something that you love to do and being able to be a part of it and just enjoying it, you know. Um, but just stay away from the negative if you can, as much as you can. Yeah. On to our very last question. So what's next for you for the, like the rest of 2022? Like any projects that you would like to announce on the show? Um, nothing to announce as of yet because there's a lot of stuff are there's a few things that are tba right now um i do have some new music that's coming out and i'm pre 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 preparing for um there's a music video i'm trying to get trying to get it started because i have the, the song i want to release the song soon um but as far as any other like i'm working towards a few things right now so i don't have anything to really like to discuss but for those of you that are watching, next weekend will be our Anime Riverside event, um, the Ranger Legacy event within Anime Riverside. Um, a lot of your favorite Rangers, a lot of your favorite voice actors, even us, our the PRU gang, we'll all be there. It's going to be an amazing, fun event because the one that we had last time, the last last year in December, was phenomenal. So I can only imagine how this one is going to be since everybody's outside. Um, uh, you know what's crazy? I, I, I wanted to tell you. So I shot the Shattered Past music video. Wow. But the VFX, it's taking a bit of time right now. Um, okay. It's taking a bit of time for it to get. So I, 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 I'm going to try to get that out as soon as I possibly can. But it was fun doing it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. That's so
I love that. So I just want to say, Kehende, it has been such an incredible pleasure having you on the show for today. Everyone, definitely go give Kehende Atto Worldwide the amazing and incredible support. He does such a sensational job as the Inferno Ranger for Shattered Past Extended Universe. Uh, definitely go give him the love and support. Uh, do you have any last final thoughts that you would like to share to people on the show? Yeah, so no matter what it is that you want to do in life, no matter how long it takes, no matter how hard it is, just go and do it. Go for the gusto. Make it happen. You know, consistency and being, you know, persistent and just trying to get to the next level, it's a challenge because if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So just maintain your stance. Don't move your pivot and just keep it going, man. Just just stay positive. And just make friends. Always remember this. Make friends. Make good friends that are doing what you're doing, if not better than what you're doing, so you can learn and you could, you know, you could evolve, you could you could flourish, uh, ascend, all of that. So just stay on your path. The year is 2040 and Earth is on the brink of destruction. Lord Drak and his murdering Power Rangers cross time and space, creating alternate timelines. Before his death, Commander Tate gave me one last mission. My name is Sam O'Neill, and I am a force from the future. I am the SPD Omega Ranger. Time's up, Omega Access, Omega no, time I'm up. Jump. Sam O'Neill, clean the timeline up. I'm after Lord Draken. He messed the whole vibe up. You messed the timeline up. I got my powers lined up. Get ready for the rise up. Gotta go backwards, protect where I'm from. Omega That's the wind up. Jump. jump in the Megazord, size up. Commander Tate sent me back. Last mission, world on the brink, so I signed up. Shift in the turbo, Operation Overdrive. RPM Omega Access, that's an override. Ninja Storm in the sky. Wild Force, Town Force, my choice. Light speed might be the right team, but it's Mix just me. Mix my powers. Master Don Zeal Crystal, Dino Charge, Dino Thunder, Prehistoric Power Missile, Super with the Mega Force, Omega Access. That's a battle force. Back in the past is my only course. I'm not from around here. Multiverse, no room for failure. It better work. Commander Sky Tate sent me back, so it better work. Put my life on the line for my time. It better work. Commander Sky Tate sent me back, so it better work. the future. We gotta go back. Omega Time Jump. Power Rangers Shadow Pass. Omega Access. And I am a force from the future. To say the future, we gotta go back. Omega Time Jump. Power Rangers Shadow Pass. Omega Access. The year is 2040 and Earth is on the brink of destruction.